All right, guys, coming to you live from Battleac. It's uh, it's Tuesday, two o'clock, I think, and we're leaving tomorrow to go to Florida for Cletus and Cars. And there's still a ton of work to be done. Big surprise there, not really, but I mean, is it really an automotive car trip if uh, you know you're not doing some last minute work on stuff to get ready to go? Think about that. So, doing some interior work on the Battleac. I've got the nitrous in the back of this, uh, all hooked up, ready to go. Right now, I'm finalizing putting the Holly dash in this. As you guys might remember, it's kind of just been sitting on the steering column. Uh, a couple months ago, I popped out the factory instrument cluster and dropped that off to my friend Corey. Uh, he owns Car Chains 3D. He does a lot of 3D printing uh, for gauge mounts, for Holly mounts, for a ton of different cool stuff. And he got me set up with this mount. Check it out. Look at that piece. So that's a seven inch Holly dash. And Corey custom made this thing. He 3D scanned the original instrument cluster and then printed this piece up for me. And it's fitting super good. So I'm just in process of putting all the factory interior pieces back together in this thing. And I'm excited to see how that thing looks. So big shout out to Corey. If you guys need any mounts for anything Holly related, uh, check him out again. Car Chains 3D. Super big help on this project, and it's going to just clean this whole dash up a lot nicer and make this thing look way more pro. All right, guys, it's a couple hours later. I got the dash all back in the Battleac. It looks super good, super clean. Beautiful. Look at that. Yep, love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. So this is basically all about done. I've got to go uh, change one of my burner tires for this, head into the other shop, also going to grab some tools and then uh, once the tools are grabbed basically just got to load stuff up hook the truck up and that'll be it rex 3 is washed i need to get some gas in that so i'll go grab a gas can while i'm out also quick steer horn update so my dad came in and uh put some epoxy on this thing and we re-screwed it so this thing should be should be pretty strong fiberglass reinforced and everything so we're not going to be driving with these on down to Florida. I think that's a little bit too much stress on them. So we'll just put them inside the car, but hopefully that's fixed up. Got some leather that we can wrap around there and make it look a little bit cleaner. I also put some uh, adhesive agent on this side or instant adhesive, whatever it's called. And yeah, same thing. Wrap leather around that. Be good to go. Well, the day has come. It's freaking trip day. Yeah. Let's take yeah. a look at this freaking load we got here. Jeez, oh man. This is a freaking haul. Man, looks like everything made it from your house to my house. <laughs> See, as we had to had the wor worst conditions to load the stuff. Yeah, absolute. I mean, we'll probably post a little clip of uh, what I was dealing with yesterday, as far as uh, yeah, backing see, up to my uh, you my trailer do that, like, right now. Okay, it could, it could be longer, but I was afraid I was going to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's look at that real quick. Man, I just get to Rick's to load up everything, and uh, it's been raining all day, and I just. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's been mud bogging. Oof, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that was nuts. I wasn't, I wasn't too happy. The truck wasn't too happy either. But uh... oh, there was a lot of rev limiter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it got much worse. Yeah, it, it did. It escalated very quickly, but everything's on the trailer. Freaking Rex 3's looking good. Battle Axe looking good. Kyle's machine's looking good. Did a pretty good job at strapping everything down. Um, you know, yeah, pouring down rain. Yeah, you handled that, so that's, you know, things have multiple straps on them, so we know Kyle handled that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we uh, I had to do a little trailer light deal. I washed this yesterday, and somehow, I think when I was power washing it, one of the lights came unplugged, but that's fixed. Everything's looking good, though, so. We got some mud. Uh, we, yeah, I don't know where that came from. It didn't come from my truck, that's for sure. <laughs> but we're about ready to hit the road, so, uh, you know, they say if uh, if you see us on the road or if you think you've seen us on the road, you did. So. Yeah, you're not going to miss us. <laughs> All right, let's drive. Well, we're just freaking diesel pushing through Kentucky. Smooth sailing so far. We only had to get off the highway once. Uh, almost drove off the edge of the road. And then turns out uh, the truck, the semi we passed or that was next to us on the highway was actually way in front of us when we got back on the highway. So that was super cool. Look, Google Maps said to get off the freeway because it was closed or something. You said 
follow Google Maps. I did, no, 100%. And then next thing you know, we're out in the hills of Kentucky. Yeah. And the road was the, or the lane of the road was the width of the trailer. Yeah, I maintained uh, full composure. <laughs> I, I I didn't threaten to get out of the truck and block traffic when people weren't letting us uh, make a wide turn or anything like that. So, <laughs> not at all. Outside of that, though, good trip so far. So, yeah, a lot of rain. We're, uh, we're making a, well, I don't want to say surprise visit, but because it's not going to be a surprise to this guy, but we're stopping at some place I've never been to. I know the owner of this place. It's where we're going to be staying overnight, but uh, that's going to be in Florida. So we're about, I think, nine and a half hours away from that location. In between here and there, though, the promised land, my man, Bucky's. We're definitely going there. We're definitely buying too much food, and we're definitely probably going to be feeling bad after we eat there yeah we've already missed one bucky's somehow <laughs> and we're just hoping and praying we got enough fuel to make it to this next one which, right we were 20 20 miles away from the like yeet, the yeah mile, like, how it says you had the miles to go and then we just went through the mountains so that could have hurt us well here's the deal my man we're diesel pushers and uh, we're just gonna push through it so we're going to Bucky's for sure. We'll update you guys when we're there. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse on our way to Bucky's, all right? Well, you know what they say, you ain't trucking unless you're bucking. We're out here at Bucky's getting ourselves some freaking diesel pusher fuel. Some diesel pusher fuel for our bodies. We're just having a great time out here. Yeah, this is probably the best place to stop for fuel and food. Yeah. Well, yeah, at the same time. Best gas station. I think uh, we're probably pushing the limits of what, what kind of rig should be pulling into Bucky's, but, you know, hey, if it fits the chips. The sign showed a semi. We're not, <laughs> we're not a semi. We're a diesel pusher. We ain't no semi, though. So we're uh, we're in North Georgia. I don't know how much longer we got. You hear that street racer out there? It's not bad. Maybe it's power than our <laughs> Probably. I'm thinking about, what, eight more hours of driving? Seven yeah. more hours? <clears throat> Pretty much double our trip now. Like, start over. No, not that far. Not for tonight. Maybe not that far. Not for tonight. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Either way, it's warmer. It's like 60s. Yeah, it's pretty good. Windy. We still got our hoods on and stuff, but I think we're going to finish off with these burritos and keep on super trucking. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's the next day. We're in Florida, which is pretty cool. And you know and I know the people love new shops. Oh, yeah. So where are we at? A new shop. We're at a freaking new shop. Maybe you guys heard of it before. KSR, Performance and Fabrication. So we're down here. Because on the way down, I was informed, because I didn't inform myself, yeah. that our burnout car, the Badillac, needs an external kill switch to shut the engine down, shut everything down, right. in the event that something were to happen during the burnout. So I didn't read the uh, the rules. That's on me. I don't think a lot of people read the rules, because I've been hearing it's been like a little frantic for people to get a battery disconnect switch installed. So I figured, hey, KSR's on the way down. We might as well stop and what see Kevin. Place. Yeah, what better place? So uh, Kevin's inside. He's working on his burnout car. He had a super tough break with that thing. It sounds like he was putting together a new engine for it. Yeah. Crank bolt broke. Yeah. That's super bad. Out of all things, like crank bolt. So he had a disconnect switch on hand, which is awesome. So uh, we're going to just get that installed here. But yeah. first, speaking of disconnects, we're going to disconnect this trailer. Yeah. Go get something to eat. Yeah, I like we're that. Eat, we're eat some food. <laughs> so we'll disconnect this, and uh, we'll go take a look at Kevin's setup when we get back. Maybe we'll see if he wants some food. Oh, if you don't well, fall and I don't harm yourself. Bar now. <laughs> Man, second time at the old Waffle House for me. It was pretty good, I thought. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't really go to Waffle House for the food. You go for the experience. Yeah, I mean, it's not 1 a.m., so, I mean, it wasn't too eventful, but it was a good, good meal. I'm happy with that, so. Oh, yeah. Full? Now we got to try and uh, wire in a battery disconnect switch. I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, we got to figure out where we're going to put it. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> so, we're here uh, doing some last-minute modifications, of course, because that's what we do. 
So this is where our kill switch is going right here in the back. So we're gonna modify this piece of metal right here to accommodate our uh, switch then. Our tile may be misplaced. Oh, no, there it is, so. I was gonna use tin snips, and then he said, I got these uh, electronic tin snips. Those are I better. Said, I like that, so. Yeah, that's less effort. Yeah, so we're gonna see what happens here. I don't know if you can hold that and film. I mean, uh, at least you got. Hey, good thing you got a big cutoff wheel. Oof, don't cut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's a <laughs> good. ER trip. Got a little carried away right there. Not a big deal. That's hidden. Just look at it. That's some scrap we can uh, turn in for some gas money to fund this trip. That's cool. Oof. I don't know if that's going to add up to anything amountable. I think we're in good shape. That should be of us. Uh... Did you get a drill? No, oh, one thing at a time. I don't want to overwhelm those guys. They're busy getting their own stuff done, so. Oof, would you just look at it, don't fit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta go bigger. go bigger. <laughs> like a lot bigger. All right. Or what if we do this? What if we, um. We just move that to the side. We just don't know if that depth's right. We can try I'm it. Just... Put that away, and we're gonna get a little carried away with this. We're really doing our best to not bother uh, Kevin and his team, so I'm just uh, kind of randomly searching for tools and stuff like that. And I couldn't find a, uh, you know, bit to put this self tapper in so we can hold this plate on so the officials know which way is which for the battery. So I've never tried this before, but it should work. I just chalked it right up. Wow, that actually worked. I feel like that could be on that. You ever see that TikTok where it's like the guy's like, no way, for f sake. You ever see those? Yeah. You like might have to tag him in this one. Yeah. So I'm just going to get the right socket, just run that in with the ratchet now, but. It works. Or you know, guys, tech tips. Short. Custom bolts. All right, Hoss, let's take a look at that switch. That sucker's clean. Yeah, she's off. Now she's on back off it's all tucked up wires like look at that it's basically factory yeah pretty much so let's see if this thing actually works let's see if we did this right so you got it off right now yeah, just close that. you got keys uh they're yeah nope i got them i think if they're in the trunk we're in trouble <laughs> all right got it off yep nothing nothing on oh okay i'm gonna fire this thing up all right oh. Let it run for a second and then shut her down. Wow. Stepped off. We're the safest Basically. people. We're the safest people in Florida right now. I don't know about that one, but yeah. <laughs> this thing sounds so good. Oh yeah. It likes the warm weather it a little bit better. Likes the 70 degree weather. Yeah. So, so do I. Yeah, I agree. It's nice down here. Uh, let's put our stuff away and Get on the road. Say bye to Kevin. Say thanks to Kevin. Definitely. And yeah, it's a good time here at KSR. Pretty sweet place, honestly. Oh, yeah. Nice shop. I mean, it was pretty evident when you saw 10,000 burnout marks in front of here that you're going to see some cool stuff. But yeah. Right. We made it. Oof. All the helmets Continue gone. For half a mile. We made it. <laughs> Been a long journey, but we're here. It's a good feeling. The weather. 82 degrees that's a pretty good temperature i feel so yeah, we're gonna I find a uh spot to park this trailer maybe do some work on the car we got a couple things we got to get done but uh yeah little things like like steer horns yeah that's not a little man that's a big thing true <laughs> diesel pusher used to think that uh wind was a michigan thing turns out it's just a us thing so that's yeah. cool but it's nice out. I mean, can't get over this freaking. Yeah, but I'm wonder. not gonna complain about like what 80 degrees or something. 75. Super nice. Like, Super yeah. nice. So what do we got to do to this thing? I think we're gonna work on this a little bit before we take off. Um, I think the list is just pull the front drive shaft out. Oh, yep. That's important. Because I think it's in four wheel drive right now. We don't have the four wheel drive shifter hooked up. I'd rather eliminate any potential issues with this going into four wheel drive. So just pull that drive shaft out and not have to worry about it. Right, and then. 
I know the steer horn stuff, I say we do that Saturday morning. Well, we can get the leather mounted. We can get to wrap that leather. Yeah. But the mounting them, I would rather wait to the day off so they don't get wet. Yeah. Who knows what it's Florida, it rains. Right. So, say we pull the drive shaft, we can put that leather on, and I'll just go through the list of little stuff we have to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. So. All right, well, we'll get some tools out, yank that drive shaft. Oh, it's coming. Oh, you know, it's like Christmas. It's coming. Not very fast, though. Yeah. Somehow we, uh, I don't know if we used a half inch or something on this. Tighten this drive shaft tight. Jesus. It's tight. You used an impact on that thing, didn't you? I have my impact. I just lost the socket. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably on the bull. No, oh, oh, there it is. It's kind of comfy under here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much room, though. Yeah, I've worked in tighter spaces, but it ain't it ain't the best as far as room goes. Yeah. I'm just trying to break these loose and then we'll open up our uh, power tools. Like that one next to you. Jesus. I don't think we want these to come off. I don't think they were coming off. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I can get to that one. I'd say spin it, but she's probably in four wheel drive. <laughs> well, no, yeah. I don't know if I, I don't like touching that because then we end up being four low. Yeah. Yeah, just leave her be. I mean, we had obviously known if it was in four low, but sometimes, you know, you just kind of leave things alone. Are you sure you don't want to climb under here? You're smaller than me. Am I? Yeah. I got this thing called a gut. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, but it's not as big. You what get did it? we tighten these? You put it? that on. I, did you use my little cordless 3-8s? Yes. Yeah, she's probably tight. I think he's got some torques. Listen to that wind. Hopefully you can't hear it under here. I'm trying to block it by the tire. I thought you pulled this out when it was in the air. I was hoping you did. I'm just gonna lay here for a minute. All right. I haven't been able to sprawl. Neither one of us been able to sprawl <laughs> out. Not wrong. Last, what 36 hours? Probably. Nice. I tried in the truck, but there's just not much room. Guys, there was a freaking cat that was walking on top of the truck this morning. It was nuts. He knew you were in the truck. I thought I was, like, tripping. I saw this being just walked out with my <laughs> windshield. And I'm like, man, that's weird. And then I looked. A bunch of paw prints on the roof. Pretty crazy. Yeah, this one just ain't in a good spot. You just got to do it. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, also, at some point, we definitely need a new shift cable because that's a... <laughs> I forgot how cobbled that was. Oh, man. That, that was on, I think, on the list of things to fix. I don't think it was. Well, like, back in November? Yeah. Yeah, that's super cobbled. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you think that's hot? <laughs> it hasn't been running. You never know. It's true. It's true. Diesel pusher. All right, we've got our fuel lines tied up. Drive shaft is out. We just did the freaking horns. Put this nice leather trim wrap around there to cover up some stuff. It's looking good. It's looking pro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we are going to hold off on putting these on just so they don't get uh, you know too moist from, uh, from dew in the morning, stuff like that. We'll probably throw them on Saturday, uh, maybe tomorrow, but probably Saturday. So we'll just throw these back in the car, and uh, I think that's, that's, that's about it on the list for today. Well guys, I'm in the diesel pusher. I'm uh, outside the Airbnb that Kyle and I got. Actually stayed in a room. So there's like people that uh, Airbnb their house, I guess. And they just do rooms. So that was kind of interesting, but it was super cheap. So it worked out pretty good. And the lady made us pancakes for breakfast. Like how nice is that? Very cool. So it's Friday, a couple hours before the Freedom 500. Not sure if we're getting into that or not. Hopefully we are. But uh, yeah, tomorrow's a big day for the battle act. Hopefully doing that, uh, we are doing that burnout in the open burnout comp. 
hopefully taking home that trophy. Really want to do that. Really want to drive the Battle Act to Applebee's after that with the trophy. We'll see what happens, but it's been a really good time down here so far. Seeing a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while, and the weather's great. Just having a good time. So hope you guys enjoyed this travel video. A lot of exciting stuff coming up, and uh, hope you guys will come back and enjoy it with us. So we'll see you shortly. Maybe a couple days, maybe sooner. We'll see.